Hello everyone, I'm Solar Loon, and this is part 8, I suppose, it's 8 already, of my tutorial series on how to use Sunvox. This one will cover the kicker, which I don't think I've covered yet, and the compressor a little bit, and that, uh, how to duck um, songs using the compressor. Okay, so, what we're going to be looking at today is the, is the kicker. The kicker was used, and is used, for kick drums. Um, it's pretty useful. It's pretty it gives a very nice, authentic synth sound, and it's it's pretty pretty nice. So what we're going to be looking at is just a few of the parameters: volume. Uh, you would expect what that is, but then this type is the type of kick drum that this synth makes: a triangle kick drum, or a rectangular kick drum. So they both have uses. They're both pretty good. Uh, sounding. Then you have panning, which is obvious, attack, release, um, volume, add, envelope acceleration, polyphony, and anti-click. So let's go back here. Volume add is basically, um, just gives a little more volume uh, to the to the sound. It actually might be kicking up the, the waveform a little bit to make it more, um, to raise the overall volume without raising the peaks. I'm not exactly sure now that I'm thinking about it. I thought I knew. But anyway, it's used to, to mess around with the volume, to make the volume louder. Okay. Then you have envelope acceleration, which is basically how fast the waveform goes from peak to uh, through the slope and to the bottom. You can hear it. Let's take the re release up so we can hear it a little better. Alright. So that's what it sounds like with envelope acceleration. Pretty much, uh, I guess you could say, normal amount, 256. Let's kick it up really high. Yeah, it goes down lower faster, and if it, if it's at zero or yeah, very long. So what we're going to do is pretty much leave that as it is. And keep, take the release down back. All right, and now we can hear uh, this little pattern I have laid out. So we have a kicker. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a uh, little parametric parametric, or it's a little um, waveform uh, analyzer. It's a spectrum analyzer, I believe. So it allows you to see the waveform of your sound. Or not really the waveform, but the it allows you to analyze the output of the sound. So it's useful for seeing, you know, how loud your sound is, your song or, or a sound is, different things like that. Um, it displays what, what you're selecting, so if you want to hear your whole song, you have to select out. Okay, so let's go back to the generator now. Um, the generator that I have hooked up here is a square tooth. Duty cycles about a quarter way, which is 218, and release is high. Polyphony's at one, so we can hear this song I have here. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this real quick. What I would like to do is add some ducking to this. Now, ducking is pretty much uh, very standard in dance songs where when the kick drum plays, the rest of the song, or other parts of the song, get lower in volume, and as the kick drum uh, gets quiet, uh, naturally, the rest of the song comes up. So it's it's kind of a swinging, um, dancing, you know, kind of like a wave effect. It's, it's very, uh, very pumpy. Very pumpish, I guess. <laughs> That's not a word, but anyway. So it's good for, for dance songs. What we're going to do is use a compressor, the new compressor effect for this. So we spawn in our little compressor and now we just connect the uh, generator and the kicker to it. Now the compressor has different values but what we're going to use it for is for side chaining. So let's select as the side chain input number two which is the kicker. And so we see that's connected and it says side chain two kicker. So now when we play you can see those little waveforms and that's the kicker influencing the compressor. So that is what our the rest of the devices connected to the compressor would go off of. So um, the threshold controls how loud the incoming sidechain input must be to um, to duck or to I guess really modulate the rest of the of the devices connected to it in, in, in volume. So and then slope is how powerful to affect that modulation. So I'm going to change them so you can uh, real time so you can see it. So let's leave it high so you can see it. Now the white line is the volume of the rest of the devices, relatively. So as you can see, it's low when it when the kick.
kick starts and it gets higher as the kick drops off. Okay, and now let's just connect the kicker back and turn it to a rectangle. just a quick overview of the kicker and the compressor. Um, that was part eight. It wasn't very long. I'm glad to have gotten this one out. Uh, I probably should go over the compressor a little more because there's a little more to it, like the peak in RMS and there's um, using it with, uh, without the sidechain input just as a general compressor. I think that works. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you had fun watching uh, and I hope that you have fun working with Sunbox in the future. If you feel like uh, donating, uh, be ha I'd be happy to <laughs> accept it. Or, or if you feel like uh, requesting a tutorial, um, please do so, and I'll see if I can possibly make it happen. Thanks for watching, and have fun.